what's the second most popular sport in the world, and what's the most popular sport in India, and where did cricket actually come from? Right here, as far as we can tell. My name is Charles Blomert. I have been the chairman of Cricket Vlaanderen, which is the Flemish Cricket Federation. I've been a member of the committee of the Belgian Cricket Federation. And I started with a couple of friends, a club called Arcadians Cricket Club in Ghent in 2004. Cricket is a very popular sport, not only in England, also in Australia, in India, Pakistan and really all the Commonwealth countries. As a result, cricket is the second most widely played sport in the world. And at a time when football was not even organised, did not exist, there were already organised county cricket clubs and already professional cricketers. The start of modern cricket as we know it is 1744. The first laws of cricket were produced and we would still recognize those rules if we read them today. So we do know that cricket is a very old sport, but still the question is, where does cricket really come from? India. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently there are some rumors that it started off in Belgium, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure it started off in England. Yeah, I reckon it was taken to England by uh, Flemish farmers. Mr. Krikitsen, does that mean something? That means hit with a stick, doesn't it? That's what it comes from, I think. <laughs> there are several things that indicate that Flanders may be the origin. Well, one of the first indications we actually find with Bruegel. Now, Bruegel the Elder, a Flemish painter from the 16th century, painted a lot of landscapes and peasant parties. And in one of these paintings, we actually see people playing a kind of game with a crooked stick. And it could be cricket. But to be fair, it could also be hockey or golf, because it's not that clear, so it's not conclusive in its own right. The word cricket may have been derived from the Middle Dutch met the krik katzen. Now, a krik, uh, a crutch, a stick, a crook, it could be a shepherd's crook. That could be the origin, and there is this very romantic story that shepherds were using the crook to hit a ball of wool towards a tree-legged stool, which would be the three stumps of the wicket today. There is, of course, also an historical evidence that links Flemish weavers to the origin of cricket. We know that in the 14th century, the kings of England invited Flemish weavers to come to England to improve the quality of the wool, and we know they settled in the southeast of England, exactly in the area of Kent, Sussex, Surrey, where later the first games of cricket were played in the world. So that is a very strong indication that Flemings were involved in the start of cricket in England. In 2009, the Australian researcher Paul Campbell found a poem from John Skelton. Now, John Skelton is a well-known poet in the, of the end 15th, early 16th century, who was also the poet laureate to Henry VIII. The, the poem goes like, like this, it says, Now shut up your wickets and click to your clickets, our farewell, kings of crickets. So it really directly refers to the Flemings as the ones who play cricket in England at that time. So it really says you Flemings, you go home and you take your cricket with you. So cricket is not an alien sport in Flanders and more people should really play it.